A new phase is being launched at the Great Park, and it's groundbreaking. That story is coming up on this edition of Irvine Scene. On behalf of the Great Park Board and my council colleagues, I want to thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the future of the Great Park. We're here on the site of the former El Toro Marine Base in the second largest city in the sixth largest county in the United States of America. Leaders in the community and public gather for a groundbreaking and historic event at the Great Park, continuing the development and expansion. So right here where we're standing on right now, the runway will be the heart of the Veterans Memorial Park. And then down back by the sports complex, we're looking at the aquatic center with USA Water Polo. And from here all the way down to Wild Rivers that you can see way down there is all going to be built, including the amphitheater. There is a botanical garden, lakes, meadows, and the Flying Leathernecks Aviation Museum in the plans, along with many other amenities that make up the 1,300 acres of planned development to come in the next seven to eight years. This phase that we're kicking off today will basically include large-scale demolition. We have thousands of acres of demolition, like the buildings behind us and the buildings here on the base for the next six to nine months. We have structures on the south end of the park, and after that, we'll start our construction. The move is to make this the greatest metropolitan park in the country. But first, buildings must come down. With all the old buildings coming down, veteran Tony Rivas and others are trying to preserve the control tower. Tony served as the radar and traffic controller on what was El Toro Marine Base for 24 years. They had a lot of uh, famous people, uh, a lot of heroes, a lot of, uh, that came here, trained here and left here and uh, military federal employees like myself here, and I loved every minute of it. The area is grounded in history and will be opening up to cultural opportunities for the community. We're gonna live up to the residents' expectation of what this place should be about. And it will be not only a source of pride and a crown jewel for those residents who are in the Great Park, but for entire Orange County. There are millions per year who come to visit the Great Park. Now, we will be moving into uh, the more park-like features, trees, trails, wonderful forestation, uh, memorial gardens that are going to be here at the Veterans Memorial Park. It's really quite a day. What I'm most excited about is the open space. We're gonna bring in a bunch of local plants, local species, it's gonna attract wildlife. Kids will be able to learn about the plants in the area. It's just going to be wonderful. And there will be businesses set to come in 2026 for kids and families to enjoy. Pretend City Children's Museum will be along Marine Way and Skyhawk. We're going to be a resource center. There'll be partnerships with occupational therapists and physical therapists so people can support their child's development all while they're having fun at Pretend City and there will be a place for kids to discover their talents as well. It doesn't matter what their economic circumstances are. They have a chance to learn to sing, to dance, to perform, to play instruments, and to watch our kids in Orange County get this kind of opportunity in an incredibly amazing facility is beyond anyone's imagination. When it's completed, it will be twice the size of New York Central Park. For more on the Great Parks development, visit the city's website. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twagg.